back on the test field, this time with a very exciting first, a X8, an eight rotor FPV racing drone designed for cinema filming. Unlike the six inch here, is capable of carrying more weight and flying for longer on a nice big battery. And then with the added benefit of redundancy in terms of uh, the second set of props so that it can withstand losing a, a blade. Uh, maybe, <laughs> you know, it's got a little bit extra safety margin versus a quad. This one uh, is a frame that Stefan at Stand and Quad Designs designed. Uh, it's the first prototype. Uh, it's the first time it's been built. Definitely the first time I've made an eight rotor FPV drone. <laughs> Four blades on top, four on the bottom, two four-in-one ESCs, um, and eight blades. It's like a props in quad on top of a props out quad, <laughs> running on one big success battery. Today, it's the first time, made in flight, built it over the weekend. We'll pick some settings, we'll fly it, see what happens. Okay, successful hover test. Jumped into beta flight and tweaked some settings to, to make sure that it's uh, sitting in the air happily and uh, responding as anticipated. So it's time to go in the goggles, see what she can do. First FPV flight, the X811. <laughs> Good luck up there. Four props in view, that's new. And we're at. Good, not seeing too much jello or jitter. There's a lot of props to see in the view. <laughs> Fly like a um, big quad necessarily. Like I don't feel like I'm having to give it a lot of throttle to turn. Smooth. It's also quiet. It's quiet for a drone of that size. Much quieter than the uh, you know the, the beast class quad. drop quickly. It's <laughs> good, such a big battery. I think just like when you jump from four to six or four to eight blades on a cinema drone, you get kind of a smoother glidey kind of feel, a less a less athletic, like a quad is more athletic. That's I'm feeling that here too, like it's a gut kind of a drift um, that we like when we're filming. No jitters, no jello. Even descends smoothly. That's unusual for a FPV quad. I'm nervous about landing, just because of the uh, the props on the bottom. 
to give it a 50% chance that the blades on the bottom just all snap if I miss this uh, landing pad here. First flight, success! nervous now that it's uh, succeeded. <laughs> Whips a little smoother than the uh, Beast Class. Yeah, it's got all its weight kind of centralized. A little bounce. <laughs> a little bounce. throttle when it comes around. A little bit lower actually, so I'm, I'm flipping the throttle down when it's upside down. But then trying to ramp it back in to recover, but not quite so much as I would have to do on a beast class, where you really got to power it out.
Wow. <laughs> okay. The damn thing flies. Who knew? It flies really good. It's um, quiet, fast, smooth, crazy efficient. And there's still some work to be done on the tune. It definitely, you know, had some jitters when I really threw it aggressively. But for like cinema FPV long range, it's going to be, it's going to be a serious platform. X8 vs Quad. This has a bit more of a um, organic airplane feel as opposed to a quad which is a little bit more like on rails and like robotic I guess. Uh, both of those definitely have their advantage and are um, great um, but I'm curious to see what we can do with this in terms of style and look. Uh, there's a lot to explore there. So, big shout out to Stefan for this uh, this frame, this design, pushing the whole idea of X8, which I was, <laughs> I was not sure it couldn't make work. Um, and then Betaflight, guys, nice work, uh, 4.1. You know, even an exotic one-off like this can be made to fly really well in that software. I'm excited. This is a great new tool in the toolbox. <laughs> All right, signing off.